Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. In this video, I will be comparing the QSP Penguin to the Civivi Elementum. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I notice a lot of people talking about the Elementum. Like seriously, almost every knife reviewer has spoken about the Elementum and everyone that I know of who is a knife head has always recommended the Elementum and talked about it. It's got a lot of hype, it's made by Civivi, it's a great budget knife, etc. And I personally have hopped on the hype train as well and have been using this for a couple of weeks. But you guys know that I highly recommended the QSP Penguin and in my opinion, this is the best budget knife you could get for under $30. And so honestly, I saw a lot of people recommending the Civivi Elementum and not not as many people recommending the QSP Penguin. I mean, yes, there are people who talked about it. However, that's not as much as how much coverage the Elementum gets. And so because I have both of these on hand, I decided, yeah, maybe let's make a kind of comparison video and share with you my thoughts. And before we proceed any further, I want to give a shout out to Troy. Troy, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for being a patron of mine. I really appreciate you hopping on board and joining the Patreon page and I hope that you enjoy your stay. So guys, this is not a review video. I won't be talking about the Elementum or the Penguin because you guys know I already talked about the Penguin and there's more than enough reviews about the Elementum so you guys know all the pros and cons and everything. So this video is gonna be focusing on the comparison between the two of them and of course, my opinion at the end of it all. So yeah, be prepared to sit throughout this video. Here we go. And I think that the most obvious thing that I should talk about first or the most important thing is the blade shape. I mean, one glance and you can tell there's a huge difference. The Penguin features a sheep's foot blade, but the Elementum features a drop point blade. And if you look closely at it, you could see the QSP logo here. And on the back is the steel marking D2 right there. And on the Elementum, there is no branding on the show side of the blade. And on the other side, which is the lock side, there's no marking as well, except for on the flipper tab, you could see a small little D2 marking here. And this is really, really small and really subtle. It looks like it's really lightly etched in and it is visible when the blade is both in the closed and deployed position. Other details about the blade is that both of them feature jimping up top that is comfortable when you have your finger up here or when you hold it in the hammer position and it's resting on your thumb. See, for both, it's really comfortable up there. It's in a sweet spot. The Elementum features a finger choil. Now, this is kind of like a forward finger choil. I could have my index finger right there, but it's more like a flat surface area for you to rest your finger against. Not so much into the choil itself, but yeah, at least it's still there. It's present there, unlike the Penguin, which is just a sharpening choil and it wouldn't be a good idea for you to rest your finger up here. Both of the blades have nice chamfers on the edges so there's no hot spots along the spine but for the elementum there is a little sweat up here and that adds a bit of character to it on the penguin well if you really want to call this a switch then yeah it is like a switch but i'll just call it a chamfer not so much of a switch. Now the Penguin features a flat grind while the Elementum features a hollow grind and you can tell because of the way the light is kind of reflecting. You could see that slight curve there. Yep, so flat grind versus a hollow grind. And now the blade thickness, they are exactly the same, 0.12 inches thick. So both of these have the same thickness in terms of the blade stock with the Elementum's blade length coming in at 2.96 inches with the penguin's blade length coming in at 3.125 inches but honestly speaking when you look at it like that they look exactly the same now for the cutting edge of course you get a little less of a cutting edge when you look at the elementum because of that finger choil right there but it is just it's so negligible right it's really really negligible next is the opening mechanism and on the penguin it is a dual lug thumb stud one on each side but the elementum is a flipper so there is a flipper tab right there now both these knives are liner locks and you can see the lock bars right there and the scales and the lock bar on the Elementum are thicker than the scales and lock bar of the Penguin. However, the finishing on the liners are different between the two. The Elementum features what looks to be a bead blasted finish on the liners and for the Penguin, it is just a standard polish finish. I don't even want to call this a machine finish because it really is very polished. So yeah, maybe it's tumbled. I don't, I don't know. but. Yes, they are different in terms of the finish. Now moving further back, you can tell that both knives do not have a backspacer. Instead, they both feature standoffs, two standoffs each, which is quite cool. And they both feature a lanyard slot. Both of them also feature a deep carry pocket clip. However, the Elementum's pocket clip is in a single orientation. So it's always going to be right side tip up carry only. But for the Penguin, it is a reversible pocket clip. So you could have it right or left tip up carry. But if you look at the pocket clips from the side, you could see that the penguin actually has the two screws protruding out like that. So those are going to rub against your pocket versus 
the Elementum, which is a little bit more sleek in terms of design, with the screws are sitting completely flush with the pocket clip. And if we look at the underside, you could see that both of these have pretty good tolerances in terms of the pocket clip screws. They do not protrude out on the inside of the liners. Now moving on to the scales, and uh, it's not really a fair comparison at this point of time because I picked the denim micata scales for the penguin, but I picked the dark green micata scales for the Elementum. However, I must say that if I were to compare options or variants then of course the elementum wins there's so many options and variants of the elementum there's so many different handle material choices as well i'm not exactly really sure how many versions of the penguin is available in the market but i do know that there are a lot of options for the elementum so to be fair i will not be comparing the feel of the micata because these are two different types of micata now let us talk about the hardware on the Civivi Elementum, you could see that it has a custom pivot pin and it's got a really cool Civivi logo design on this side, which is pretty awesome. And then you have two T8 Torx screws on the back here on this side of the scales. And on the lock side, you have the other two T8 Torx screws and the Torx pivot pin, of course. Moving on to the QSP Penguin, you have what seems to be, I guess, a rather standard looking pivot pin. And on the back here, you actually have two T6 sized torque screws that go into the standoffs. And on the lock side, you actually have the other two here, as well as the other side of the pivot pin. Now, I didn't mention these two screws here. Now, these were actually attached with the knife when I received it, and they are actually in the position of where the pocket clip would go if you want to flip sides. But I guess having these on here are a nice kind of slot filler. However, my friend John Benson mentioned that when he got his penguin, it did not have these two extra screws. So that could be like a QC issue. Maybe all penguins are supposed to come with these two screws in the slots here, or maybe they're not supposed to come with the screws and then I got lucky. I have no idea, but at least I wanted to mention that to you guys. Now, with all that said and done, I want to mention that the blade steel on these two knives are made in D2. Now, I don't want to start any discussion on what kind of D2 this exactly is because to be honest with you, Civivi is made in China, so is QSP. But I must say that the Civivi one looks a lot cleaner after use. The blade on the penguin does have some interesting marks. You can see right there. I don't know what kind of marks these are. They look like fold lines, to be honest. And they were there present the moment I took it out of the box. And yeah, I know I'm not doing a good job at showing it to you guys because of the way it's showing up on camera. But if you see it in person, it's really obvious. It does look quite cool, actually. I don't know if it's supposed to be there. I don't know if it's a good thing that it has these markings here on the blade, but it does look a little bit like Damascus. Ah, right there, so you guys can see that. It kind of looks like, yeah, those Damascus fold lines, which is pretty awesome. I, I, I don't know for sure, but it's there, and I wanted to point that out. It's not present here on the Elementum though, so yeah. Now next, I'm going to talk about the ergonomics and of course the action. So first of all, let's talk about the action on this. Um, QSP, Penguin, and the Civivi Elementum. Both of them have pretty good action. Now, of course, it's a little bit different because one is a thumb start opening mechanism and the other is a flipper. But when you get it down and you get used to it, both of them actually fly open really beautifully. Let me show that to you with the Elementum as well which is pretty darn awesome. And they're both really smooth in terms of closing as well. So while they are not the most drop shuttiest of knives, you could gently shake them close, just like that. Gotta show it to you on the Elementum as well, just to be fair. There we go. So I haven't really messed with these knives. I haven't actually opened them up and cleaned them or reloot them or anything. So these are completely in stock form. I mean, of course I've been using it, but they are still in the stock form so far. There is no blade play, whether it is horizontal or vertical, and there is no lock rock. You could see the lock up is yay much versus the Elementum. Also, no blade play, horizontal or vertical, and no lock rock. And yep, you guys can compare the lock up. So they're actually both pretty well made. Fit and finish is actually pretty good. But a standout thing is the closing feedback in terms of the detent. So check this out. The Elementum has a nice detent that kind of sucks the blade in. I'll just try and do this as lightly as possible. Let me do that again for you guys. Once you reach that sweet spot right there. Versus the Penguin, which is a little bit softer in terms of the detent. So 
So you could hear that it's a softer click. Yeah, so for those of you who like the feedback and the feeling of closing your blade, then yeah. This one's gonna win that category. Why am I jumping too far ahead? I shouldn't be talking about which one wins a category, right? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I got a little bit too ahead of myself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll bring it all back. So the next thing that I wanna share actually is about the liners itself. Now, let me just open these up again and try and get that angle for you. On the Elementum, the liners are slightly skeletonized. So you can see that there are some slots there and you could see the micata peeking through on both sides. But for the Penguin, the liners are not skeletonized. They are solid steel liners through and through. That actually leads me to the weight department. To be honest with you guys, these two feel exactly the same in terms of overall weight. And I believe that on paper, the Elementum should be a little bit lighter than the Penguin. But to be honest with you guys, these two actually feel the same. And that was quite surprising to me. I already thought that the Penguin was a light knife. I mean, not the lightest, of course, but you know, this as well, after I saw the liners, I was like, hmm, that's really interesting. And before we wrap up the action category, I feel a need to let you guys know that the washers on the Penguin is made of copper. I mean, they say it's copper. I don't know if it's phosphor bronze, but on the Elementum, it is bearings. So that's a pretty big difference between the two. So that could be the reason why this has a really smooth, super nice action, especially in terms of the detent department upon closing the knife. But I have to say, to be fair, the Penguin is surprisingly smooth. It is crazy smooth for that. And yeah, that is, in my opinion, a plus point. Finally, Ergos. So since I have the Penguin in hand, let's talk about the Ergos. First thing I'm gonna point out here is that the liners and the scales are completely flush with each other all around the knife. When you hold it, it's gonna be comfortable. You actually have your fingers sitting on this thing very comfortably. Jimping is on the sweet spot where your thumb can sit on and that's going to be really comfortable. It's easy to hold it in a pointer grip as well, just like that. Very comfortable overall. I've been using this, of course, not for hard use tasks, but you know, to break down cardboard, to cut paper and everything. This is really slicey, very comfortable. And I actually don't really feel the pocket clip biting to my hands. I think I mentioned that to you guys in my review video. So yeah, that still stands. Now, even in the reverse grip, this is super comfortable, I gotta say. So yeah, I can put my thumb up here or have my thumb down here. It's just pretty good ergonomics all around. Oh, and of course, last but not least, there is a recessed area on the shore side scale that allows for an easy access to the lock bar. I absolutely love it when a liner lock or a frame lock has this feature here because it's such a small thing, but it goes a long way in terms of the overall experience of the knife itself. Now, let's talk about the Elementum. Now, when we look at the Elementum, you can see that the liner actually creates some kind of an outer lip around the scale, which does add some extra detail and some depth in terms of the aesthetic. Now versus the Penguin that was completely flush, you could see the difference here. So it does give it a nice outline here, a little bit more character in the overall design. And this is true as well for both the show side and the lock side. So it goes all around the handles. Now there is a recessed area in the scales itself that makes way for the lanyard slot. But for the Penguin, it is a window cut slot all the way through. Now, as I wrap my hand around this knife, I gotta say that it is also very comfortable. But if you really bear down hard enough, the exposed liners here may cause a bit of discomfort. I find it okay. But you know, maybe they were kind of going for a pseudo or a faux chamfering here like that. But I can totally imagine if anyone were to bear down hard enough, these liners might bite and it's a really personal thing. But for me, it's quite okay because I don't intend to use this knife for any kind of really hard use case. And the pocket clip is also quite comfortable. It doesn't bite into my hand the way I thought it might have, but yep, it's comfortable in that department as well. The plus point on the Elementum is the fact that it has a finger trial here, so you could choke up on it and allows you to have a better, more precise grip for any kind of fine cutting task that you might do. The jimping on the spine of the blade is also very comfortably done and very well located because whether you hold the knife in the standard hammer grip with your thumb out here or if you choke up on it, it's still in a very comfortable position and it's very usable. I like that a lot. Holding it in the pointer grip is also very comfortable but I have to say that the thumb touching the logo is of course a little bit of a different feeling versus this smooth round thing here on the penguin. Next in the reverse grip, honestly though, I gotta say that in the reverse grip, the Civivi Elementum is really, really comfortable. I think it's because it flares out towards the back of the handle. Like, I don't know, it just fits the curvature of my grip, I think. It just, yeah, this is super comfortable. Like, I can't say the same thing for the Penguin. This here, 
this is really comfortable of course i don't think i'll be holding this knife in the reverse grip very much but yeah it just feels a bit different when you hold it in the standard hammer grip versus the reverse grip last but not least is the access to the lock bar now i can't really say that there is a recessed area here to allow you to access the lock bar there uh but it is slightly protruding out i know it's kind of hard to catch on camera because most of the time you see it like that but being as realistic as possible I'm trying to get this on frame yeah you could see a little bit of the jimping just sticking out there just peeking out ever so slightly and this actually works surprisingly but you do have to stick your thumb in a little bit further in order for you to actuate the lock bar versus what it is here on the penguin this is really like really easy that area here just allows for a really smooth and comfortable closing of the blade versus the elementum yeah it's not as comfortable as on the penguin but it's still very accessible so you don't have to dig your finger in as much as say for example on the kaiser feist or at least the first version of the kaiser feist because the new kaiser feist actually have the cutout you guys saw that i dremeled out a notch on my carbon fiber scale for the feist right <laughs> but yeah i mean that's something that in my opinion adds to the experience of a knife so yeah this is there not the most comfortable thing but it's not difficult to access overall another difference in the overall experience is the fact that this is a flipper so the flipper tab is right there and there also is a little bit of jimping present on the flipper tab so when you are closing this knife you will have that flipper tab actually touching your thumb which for some people is seen as a safety mechanism because the flipper tab will touch your thumb and so it stops the blade from just accidentally falling completely on your finger and then cutting the knuckle here but yeah, I uh, just wanted to say that that is present right there because it is, of course, a flipper. And that, of course, is not present on the Penguin because the Penguin just features thumb studs. However, there is a little portion here on the Penguin. I didn't want to point that out earlier because I wanted to talk about the flipper tab first. There is a little portion here on the Penguin that does act as that kind of safety if you keep your thumb pressed up against this, I guess, this bolster area close to the plunge. Then you're going to see that right there. And I believe that is present because of the sharpening choil. So you guys can see, yep, that's where the blade kind of sticks out. So there is that same safety mechanism. So that is present there only if you keep your thumb high up here on the bolster or resting against the bolster area when you are closing your knife. So like that, see, that acts as a stop. And that basically is it. I believe that I covered every point that I want to talk about. I don't think I missed anything out. So overall, these two knives are actually quite similar. Of course, the blade profile is completely different. But yeah, I mean, you got liner lock with my Carter scales. Uh, both are kind of like in the budget category. One is a flipper, one is a thumb start opener. And they're roughly in the same size. But overall on paper, of course, the Penguin is listed as slightly longer than the Elementum. But I got to say that these two, honestly speaking, they are almost in the same size realm, I guess, to be fair. Like overall thickness as well. See, they are almost exactly the same. In fact, I think they are the same in terms of thickness. And I'm going to share with you guys what I think about each knife in each category so first of all ergonomics i will say that overall ergonomics i know that i said that the cvv elementum handled really well in terms of the reverse grip i have to give it to the qsp penguin and the reason why is because number one this recess area really wins it for me number two is because the elementum with its slightly protruding liners does add a little bit more discomfort when i'm actually holding the knife compared to the penguin next is action and I have to say, Civivi. Civivi wins in the action department, especially in terms of closing the knife. Like I said to you guys, deploying, both are really good when you are deploying them. As you can see, both fly out really, really nicely. But it's the closing that's really the winner. Just that, that awesome detent on the Elementum versus this softer detent here on the Penguin. So yes, of course, the Elementum wins in that department. The next category is what I would like to call a carry category. How well do these actually carry in your pocket? I have to say that I'm kind of torn in between the two of them because they are different, yet they are the same. Ah, it's kind of hard to describe this, but both of them actually have a deep carry pocket clip. And you guys know I like deep carry pocket clips, so this is actually a win in the department for me. However, in terms of the screws itself, then the Penguin actually has protruding screws, but the Elementum does not. And so because of that, the Elementum wins in that small department there. However, the Penguin is a thumb start opener versus the Elementum, which is a flipper. And because it's a flipper, well, it does have a flipper tab sticking out. And while I don't really see much of an issue here, 
to be honest guys i've grown very fond of knives that don't have a flipper tab you know like even if it's a front flipper that's fine that's better than a flipper tab itself or a traditional standard flipper tab in my opinion i've grown to love and i really mean absolutely love the spidey hole yeah of course i went through a period of time where i just basically purchased a whole bunch of flipper knives because this this flipping action is so awesome but now you know um yeah in terms of actually comfort of carry you know this thing is going to be sticking out in your pocket yeah of course you have it in your pocket this way but when you put your hands in your pocket you know just this smoothness here versus this and then yeah having that flipper right there so in that department the penguin wins over the Civivi elementum however with the knives closed and they are sitting in your pocket like that if we just ignore the fact that the flipper tab is sticking out the elementum is way more i guess uh sleek this way it's just more sleek right i don't have any other cooler words for this guys i'm sorry versus the penguin because the penguin featuring a sheep's foot blade is kind of flaring up at the top right here so yeah uh i just you know just wanted to share that with you guys so i'm really torn between the two in that carry department and it's really something that is more towards a personal preference. Now, I would personally prefer to carry this simply because there is no flipper tab here. But for those of you looking for something a bit more sleek, a bit narrower, then of course, the Elementum. And the next thing is the blade shape. Now, I cannot say much about the blade shape because this is down to a personal preference as well. And of course, the type of grind there is on the blades. Once again, the Penguin features a flat grind and the Elementum features a hollow grind. So it really depends on what is your preferred grind. These two being budget knives and of course being in the smaller knife category with the same blade thickness overall these are actually really slicey they actually cut through paper and break down cardboard completely with ease so either way i don't really think that the difference in grind makes much of a difference what did i just say difference in grind doesn't make much of a difference but you guys know what i mean right so yeah that is slightly negligible in my opinion and the next thing that i of course have to mention is the type of hardware being used so i know a lot of people are not fans of t6 hardware because you know t6 is just kind of small i too prefer t8 hardware so yeah it's quite cool that the elementum features t8 hardware the penguin is just t6 all around except for the pivot pin which is a t8 torque screw but yep you know to each his own i honestly don't think that this is something that will make or break a knife they both have lanyard slots so that's a win they both have standoff so yeah it's the same in that department as well so the last and final thing besides the overall aesthetic because that is completely up to personal taste the last point here is about the price so of course the penguin is the winner here the penguin is under 30 us dollars this thing is going for 29 us dollars while the elementum is going for 52 us dollars now these are prices that are listed on blade hq because i think that that's the most common price these are also prices that do not include shipping it's just the base price in us dollars of these two knives so this $52 made by Civivi, which is the sister or the budget company of Wii Knife. This is made by QSP, which also in my opinion has really, really good quality in terms of machining. Both of them have good fit and finish. So at the end of the day, it's just your choice. For me, my recommendation really overall is the Penguin. And basically that is it, everyone. That's the comparison between these two knives. I just wanted to share this opinion because I've been using these knives for quite some time. But of course, the Elementum, not as long as the Penguin. But they are, of course, very, very compelling choices for small-sized EDC knives, especially in the $50 range. Now, this, of course, being $52, but I still classify it as a $50 range knife. This being under $30 and this being $52, I think that they're pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, they both serve their purpose very well. At the end of the day, if I really had to choose one, I will be picking the Penguin over the Elementum. And that's just a personal choice. And I'm saying this again, guys, don't get me wrong. They are both really, really solid knives. Just before I end this video, I want to squeeze in a little pointer for my other left-handed brother, G-Man. I can only say that the QSP Penguin has more lefty love than the Elementum. Because while both of these knives have an ambidextrous opening mechanism, the Elementum is right hand pocket clip only, but the Penguin has a reversible pocket clip. Of course, these are liner locks and the lock bar is on the left side of the knife. So yeah, it's more right hand friendly in that department. But you know, 
wanted to point that out since I too am a left-hander. And that is it everyone. Thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. I hope you found this interesting and I hope you found this informative. And if you like the content that I'm putting out and you want to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. If you do subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell to be notified of any new uploads that I put out. Also, I run a Patreon page. I'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out. I do have Patreon exclusive content and once in a while, we will have patron only giveaways. So if you do become a patron of mine, thank you so much in advance. That would really help the channel a lot. Again, I'm going to give a shout out to Troy. And of course, a shout out to all the other patrons. Thank you for everything you guys do. Thank you for your constant support on the channel. Once again, everyone, this was a comparison video between the QSP Knives Penguin and the Civivi Elementum. And I will catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then, everyone, gaga. Oh, there is one more category, guys, that I cannot leave out. A large proportion of videos that I do on this channel is about unboxing, so I cannot leave out the unboxing experience of these knives. I knew I kept these boxes for a reason. Let's talk about the box on the QSP Penguin first. Yeah, so the box here is a cardboard box, black in color with some gold kind of a worn look. So it gives it kind of like an antiqued brass finish. Then it's got the QSP logo embossed in here in silver foil. And all around is just like that with a couple of uh, barcodes here. And it just says here Penguin D2 Blade G My Carter Handle. And then you lift the lid off and it has this COA or this, I guess, some kind of an authenticity card. And then just this layer of foam. So uh, the knife was actually sitting just like that inside of the box. That was the unboxing experience. Just this first, a layer of foam and then the knife on the inside. Versus the Civivi Elementum, which comes in a cardboard box as well, but the aesthetics of this is completely different from the QSP Penguin, where it's really just full white. You've got a stylized version of the Civivi logo going around the box. You've got the Civivi logo here. You got some uh, branding here. You got the barcode on a sticker here. Dark green micarta handle, gray stainless steel liner, satin finished D2 blade. Yeah, overall, this is the box. And then you've got two stickers that kind of seal this thing up and then you open it up and in it is a knife pouch with nothing else in the box here but this knife pouch is really awesome it is a Civivi branded knife pouch and it is smaller than the usual knife pouch that you will get especially if you have purchased a wee knife knife before generally their knife pouches are slightly bigger but this of course is a smaller knife so smaller knife pouch as well then you open it up and you've got a desiccant packet in here some silica gel this thing has some really comfortable uh what is this called terry i think that's a word terry or a furry lining on the inside which is really comfortable and it's a really dark navy blue which is very interesting because i was expecting it to be completely black it does come with a microfiber cleaning cloth with the Civivi branding as well and it has a uh, i guess a slip of paper just some uh, branding stuff. But yeah, that is the packaging of the Civivi Elementum. And so in the packaging department, of course, the Civivi Elementum wins by a mile, guys. Because, well, you get a full-on knife pouch versus this, you, you don't get anything else but just that.